Abby. Hey guys, today I'm here in Bangkok and I'm gonna be sharing with you my one week non-stop cargo trip all the way from Doha and will end in Atlanta. This thing never really happened to me before, that is why I'm super excited to share this experience with you. So we arrived in Bangkok at around 8 in the morning, but unfortunately, we are not allowed to get out of our rooms throughout the duration of our stay due to the current situation. However, I'm going to be sharing with you how I spent my day in the room itself. took enough for about three hours and because I also don't want to miss a day they just sleeping. Breakfast is free and shortly they will serve it in my room. It's a beautiful day here in Bangkok but unfortunately I'm only able to experience it from my window. Nevertheless, I'm still grateful for everything. My breakfast arrived and everything is pre-packed. They served a selection of bread, seasonal fruits, eggs, potatoes, and of course, my cup of coffee and an orange juice. And if you've been with me for a long time, I normally read first thing in the morning, while enjoying my cup of coffee. This became a habit to me for the past three years now. And I couldn't be prouder of myself for having a great start of my day. I'm just enjoying my food, my book, and my view. And shortly, I'll be writing in my journal. You make me smile, what is it that you do? And just like any other person, I also don't want to waste my time here just by sleeping. So I decided to edit my vlogs so at least I could accomplish something while waiting for sunset. Our wake-up call is quite early, so I will also be sleeping a little sooner than expected. I just want to love you, just want to hold you, just want to be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. It was around 4 in the afternoon that I decided to order for a room service. The room service menu has a lot of options to choose from. Maybe local Thai cuisine, to Western, Indian, or Italian. And since I'm craving for a local Thai food, I decided to order a famous green curry and paired it with their house white wine. Yes, hi. Um, I'd like to order for the uh, chicken the green curry. No, sorry. Can I have it? Uh, prawn uh, green curry. Yeah, prawn. Uh, do you have a, a house wine, a white wine? Yes. That's it. 
I just wanna love you, I just wanna Soon it arrived in a disposable container with a little note telling us to keep our waste inside a plastic bag they have provided. Now let me just enjoy my local Thai food with a glass of house white wine. Our next stop is Nagoya, Japan. We arrived at around 5 in the evening and immediately we went out to buy some groceries for our consumption for the duration of our stay here. We will be staying here for another 24 hours before we head to our next destination. And because we are in Japan, we can't help but get tempted to buy lots of things. However, we have to stop ourselves since our bags are already full of stuff. I guess this is the odd part of having a one week trip. There's not much of passengers in the local transportation and I noticed that there are no foreigners roaming around the city or perhaps at least in the area that we went to. to learn new ideas from the book I'm reading. I also love listening to audiobooks or podcasts while writing in my journal. I also bought some matcha tea from the groceries and a few snacks for my breakfast for today. This is also one way to save money during a layover and not just ordering from the hotel itself though we have a discount but it's still cheaper when you buy it outside. Okay guys, so our flight is delayed um, for about approximately two hours, so I'm gonna get down because there is no room service here. I'm gonna go to the second floor to have my lunch. I was wearing this because unfortunately I don't have much clothes here, so I'm repeating my clothes from yesterday. I don't mind, I don't care. Oh, look at that. So this is the menu. I'm not sure what time they're supposed to open. There you go. Wait, this is the hotel lobby. They have a very very posh design here. So this is the chandelier and that is the lobby. Okay, not literally the lobby lobby with their receptionist, but if you go on the side, that side, there they go. 
very cozy place. It's a small place, but very, very cozy. And right at the window, you'll see the ocean. And apparently, they only open from 3 in the afternoon and it's still around 2 o'clock and our wake-up call is around 3.45 so I won't be able to really wait for that and I'm starving already so good thing they allowed me to stay because apparently they don't have any room service otherwise I will starve to death so they have a really very nice place in there so this is what I have ordered it's just a Caesar salad trying to be healthy. So now I'm finally here in Atlanta after a few roster changes and this time we're going to stay here for the next three days if there will be no more changes. It's about 10 in the morning here and like what I normally do, I always make sure I get to read first thing in the morning and write in my journal. I never miss a morning not reading nor writing. It's as if the day is incomplete if I don't do it unless there are a few things that need urgent attention. After my morning routine, I decided to order my breakfast from IHOP and decided to buy some groceries for my consumption in the next three days stay here. I'm glad we have a fridge to put all our food here. It really makes a lot of difference. On a second day here, the crew and I decided to go out and explore the city. There are a few attractions here that we'd like to check out ourselves. There is a Centennial Olympic Park and there's also a world of Coca-Cola, which you can spend a day interacting with multiple exhibits and sampling over 100 different beverages from all over the world. Unfortunately, the tickets are only limited and it is already sold out. So we decided to explore some other place and find a restaurant that we could also eat and relax. The place is not as crowded as before, but I can still see lots of shops that are open. So on my third day in Atlanta, I bought a few stuff for myself. And since I love books so much, I decided to buy a few. This time, I bought two psychology books, which I'm very excited to read. Yes, thank you. But today is the last day of our day off here in Atlanta. We've been spending here for the past say four days um, yeah I've been wanting to go home I, I, I just realized I actually don't like this kind of trip where you go from one place to another and it will take you around one week for you to go back to the base and yeah it's not easy and the fact that you actually want to get something or buy something but you can't because your suitcase is so full it's just so impossible I'm just gonna let you see a little bit of my suitcase look at that I am not sure how I'm going to actually close that one but I already asked one of the crew if they could at least you know 
keep a few of my stuff in their bags because yeah we can't actually keep or we can't have any extra bags so basically i have to distribute all the stuff that i have well i managed to put some of them already in the suitcase but i'm not sure if i'll be able to close them by tomorrow so today is the last night and family tomorrow will be going back to the base which is in Doha and I'm super duper excited I really miss my husband so much and yeah I can't wait to have my three days off and I hope you guys enjoyed my one week flight from Bangkok to Nagoya and then all the way to Atlanta it has been a really great week for me though it's tiring and dragging but yeah i still enjoy it and i hope you guys enjoyed my video as well and i hope to see you again